Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist, and today I'd like to show you how to draw something I got in request for, a female body, in a profile, so you can really see the contours. And we will start simply with a blue pencil, and then once we have the position, we'll go over it with a black pencil. So you can follow me. This is the basic, basic shape. Here is the shoulder, big bend in the back, flat in the front, and the front leg will come back. Notice the bend of the leg. Well, sweeping in here and coming in at the back of the knee. I'm going to give her flats, so we don't have to deal with the heel being up at this time. We'll keep it simple. And we'll also bring this foot up. We'll bring the flat off the foot, like so. Actually, that foot looks like it's lower than the front foot, which is an impossibility, so we'll bring this back up. That's why I use blue pencil. You work on all the kinks in advance, and then you'll have it. All right, let us give, let's give her a purse. Notice the, the forearm is on a diagonal because a diagonal is a more interesting position than a vertical. And we will also do the same thing with the purse. Notice how that's on a diagonal too. Now let's give her that. Put the eyes in. Very, very minimal placement because we're going to finish this up. Put the ear and just indicate where we want the hair to go. And I think we are ready. So let's give it a treatment with the trusty black pencil. And everyone asks me what kind of pencil I'm using. For this one is a Prismacolor Ivory Black. So let's start in with a face. Oops, sorry. And we're going to make the top rounded of the eyes and the bottom flat. And we're going to give nice eyelashes off the top, but not too many. See, just a few thick ones is all you need. A little bit of shading for the eyeshadow, not too much. The nose comes off to the side like that, because she's facing that direction, but a big smile. And you notice that I make the upper lip a little thick on a smile to mirror the thickness of a regular lip and a little shadow underneath it. And not, not a big chin, like so. Thin neck. And I'm going to put the shoulder up high. Kind of, you know, a very bold posture. She's facing, well, buoyant posture. She's facing forward. She's not, you know, a wilting type of character. And the hand comes off like this and starts small at the wrist and a little larger toward the end. She's going to curl it over from the pocketbook. I'm going to shade one side so that you see it looks thicker. It looks like it's got real weight if one side is shaded. And we're going to bring this off here just a little bit wider than the hips. Oh, let me finish. I should finish this. A lot of hair. Look at that. Really comes off the head. We brush it in one direction. Like they were almost like as if it were, were a wind. And I think it's fun to just float the earring. I'm flatten it on top. The character's face is very round. So to contrast, I'm going to flat, flatten the top. See how that works? A lot is contrast. Bring the eyebrows up. Curved. And 
a little ponytail. I'm going to end that in a kind of funny way. I'm going to make it a little bit square. Usually hair isn't square, but cartoons it can be. All right, now I'm going to give this a little zebra look. Why not give her a little, a little fashion? Right now, down here, again, one line, and now this one comes with a several curves. Very thin ankle. Don't make the feet too small. A little, a little uh, modeling, a little musculature for the calf. And we'll have that flat come off like this. So you see what we did here? By, ch by shifting where the foot was, we keep the front foot a little bit lower than the back foot. Put a little shading under here because light comes from here and hits that. A little shading from here because it's overlapped. And a little hair down here. And let's put a little horizon line. Okay. And there you go. Whoops. There you go. Oh, we can also shade that in a bit. Give it a little contrast. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really enjoy your company. I like doing these for you. So please subscribe, and I hope you also visit me on my Facebook page, where I post tutorials and ideas and suggestions every day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. I'm the author of many popular How to Draw books on everything from cartooning to manga. I upload new videos each week, so please subscribe and enjoy.